Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. So in response to my 2011 Sundance documentary, Misrepresentation, which explores the underrepresentation of women in positions of power and influence and challenges the media's limited portrayal of what it means to be a powerful woman, I launched the Representation Project to be a movement that uses film and media to awaken people's conscience and consciousness, change attitudes and behavior, and ultimately transform culture. And we do it one individual and one community at a time. And beyond the films, we've had incredible successes with our social action campaigns like Ask Her More, which has been credited for transforming the conversation on the red carpet and beyond. Or our other campaign like Not Buying It, which has been credited for changing the advertising landscape during the Super Bowl and beyond. It's been beyond inspiring, and I, I look around the room and I see so many friends and allies and partners, and I know we've made so much progress, all of us working together. And yet, we still have so far to go. As we saw in the video, and as my last documentary, The Mask You Live In, exposes, it's not just our girls and women who are suffering and who need a new status quo, so too do our boys and men. In fact, we are failing our boys and men. And until more men come to understand that they need to be a part of the larger equity movement, we're not going to make any progress. And way too often, men are encouraged to form hierarchies, compete, and utilize aggression regardless of the cost. Empathy, emotion, and compassion are considered signs of weakness, and to be a man means physical dominance, sexual prowess, and financial control. There are very real consequences to this socialization. Donald Trump, anyone? In fact, compared to girls in the US, boys are more likely to be diagnosed with a behavior disorder. They're more likely to be prescribed meds. They're more likely to binge drink be expelled from school, commit a violent crime, and boys are more likely to take their own lives. The status quo is both tragic and unacceptable. So in order to achieve a healthier culture where men are all part of the solution, we must disrupt the current narrative. How do we do that? Well, we as parents, educators, coaches, mentors, and media makers we have to help raise our nation's children to be whole human beings and not stereotypes. We have to model healthy behavior and inspire them to disrupt those limiting narratives and rewrite healthier, more expansive narratives. And then as business leaders, we have to stay our whole human connective selves in the workforce and recognize that we are creating and reinforcing cultural norms that will have a lasting impact on society. Studies show that it's the authentic, whole, and collaborative leader who's having the most success in the 21st century. And countless other studies prove that the greater the diversity of leadership, the greater the creativity, productivity, and the better the bottom line. So what are we waiting for? And what can we do now? Well, clearly, we all need to be having these conversations at the dinner table and within our companies, conversations around limiting stereotypes and how they play out for both men and women individually, collectively, and systemically. To that end, I am thrilled to announce that the Representation Project is partnering with makers to bring more men into the conversation and to celebrate model men, to ensure more just and equitable society for all. <laughs> the stakes are higher than ever, and it's now or never. So let's be bold. This is not a zero-sum game. We have everything to gain on the business end and on the human end when we ensure that women have equal seats at the tables of power and men are allowed to be their whole, authentic human selves. I'm here to remind you all that you are in the driver's seat. So let's demand a culture and a society that uplifts us all, that inspires my daughters and your daughters to be 
leaders, presidents, CEOs, and active and engaged citizens, and that encourages my sons and your sons to be empathic, nurturing partners both at home and in their future places of work, emboldening them to stand up for women and people who are less privileged. I am confident in partnership, working together, that we will succeed. Thank you, makers. Onwards. Thank you.